Okay, time for the taste test. Oh my god. That's good. Classic hazelnut sugar-free Tarani syrup. Oh, a titch. Let's go in again. Perfection. Hey guys, I kind of just wanted to go over this with you. It's kind of self-explanatory, but right here I have um, powdered erythritol and cinnamon in a bag. You can use a bowl. It's probably better with a bowl and a lid, just saying, because this can pop holes in your bag. Shake it up, your pork rinds. And I did try to do this in the microwave and it was a total fail, so I just transferred it over to a cookie sheet and I used my oven. So just set it at 300, 350 degrees, whatever's gonna melt the uh, sweetener on the outside. So go ahead and pop it in the oven until they start to caramelize and then repeat the process however many times you want until you get a nice thick coating because the more times you coat this, the sweeter and crunchier they will be. I think I did mine three times and they turned out really great and they'll be a little soft so you're gonna wanna let them cool on a plate or on the counter or whatever so they can harden up. One thing that a lot of us miss is crunchy. So this is such a good kind of treat. I don't make it often, and that's why I did such a small batch, because I don't like to consume a lot of empty calories. Hello. Good job, baby. All right, guys, so there you have it, some keto cereal. There's not much um, as far as nutrients go in this, except for in the hemp seeds, and that whole hemp hearts that I added at the end. Um, this protein that's in uh, pork rinds really shouldn't even be counted because it's not really a good source of protein. So whenever I do that, I just try not to eat a whole lot of pork rinds, to be honest with you, because there's really no nutrients in them other than being able to make awesome things with it. So this is going to be my cereal, and I'm going to finish my coffee. But yeah, if you like Cinnamon Toast Crunch or anything like that, this will save you. Ha, huh, baby girl. We like pork rind cereal, even though it sounds totally gross. So today I figured I would be a little bit less hungry because I had eaten so much yesterday and that's exactly what happened. So if you guys are hungry, don't starve yourself. Go ahead and eat. It's called calorie cycling from what I'm aware of, but just try to learn your body. And if you want to overeat one day because you've been like constantly under on your calories, then go ahead and do it because it's probably the healthy thing to do. So I'm going to hope that my cereal isn't smushy or mushy. Still good. All right, I'm going to finish this and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. What's going on, you guys? It is 6.31 and I am going to put together a, like, cheeseburger salad. I don't know. Somebody, like, posted about it. I never even had it before, so I'm going to put something together like that. I'll show you guys when I do that. But I was cooking the bacon, and I'm kind of hungry right now, but I don't want to eat yet. So I'm going to have two pieces of bacon, and then I'm just going to cook more and put more on my salad. So let me show you the bacon. All right, there's three pieces of bacon that I cooked that I was going to save for my salad. But I'm going to eat two of those now. And then I'm going to like put everything in my fitness pal because I haven't done any of that yet today because I've been so busy. So I put this together for the kids and it's pretty cool. Let me turn it on. But the boys and Aurora love it.
you guys, it is 7.30 and I, I just got my dinner together. And I was cooking that beef for like quite a while today. I wasn't really sure if I was going to use that because I was thinking about grilling my burger patty to do my um, kind of burger salad because, I don't know, I've, I've never tried this before but it looks really good. I'm pretty excited about this one, you guys. Hey, you guys, just checking in. I just wanted to let you guys know that this avocado bacon burger salad is so good. I know that um, hey. Heinz... Sorry, the kids are acting crazy. The Heinz tomato, like, reduced sugar ketchup is not, like, ideal. But, like, come on. Everybody's got, like, half to half to... Everybody has their weakness, and this sauce is so good. Avocado, some meat. It would be really good with a broken-up burger patty that you grill. So I was going to do that, but I ended up making this meat for everybody else, so I just kind of used it on my salad. So it turned out really good. So, babe. <laughs> yeah, so that was good. Oh yeah, and this um, big old masterpiece is on top of my dining room table just because I needed it off the floor and that was the only place it could go. Anyway, there was my food and it was amazing. And here's still my coffee from earlier and tea. Iced tea, iced black tea. You can't even really tell because the lighting here is crazy. And I sweetened it with some um, liquid sucralose. I know people are hating on me for that. It's not natural, but... It works, and you know I bought it. So yep, that's good. So drinking that, and gonna finish that finally at some point in my life, and that was good. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is 9:38, and I'm not hungry still. I knew this was gonna happen just because I overate yesterday, and so I'm kind of sitting at I think around 1,370 calories, 1,400 calories. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a green tea latte, and um, that's going to conclude my full day of eating because again, I'm not hungry. I have a bunch of things I want to do, and it's already 9:38, so. I'm going to go to bed after I'm done doing what I'm doing. I'm definitely not hungry. Um, I just wanted something like nice and warm to sip on, and this is relatively lower in calories. It's just really the almond milk and cashew milk, and um, I did add add some collagen peptides in there. I've been trying to take that to see if it'll help with my skin elasticity. I'm kind of just playing with that a little bit. But I'm gonna go over my macros with you guys. It's kind of all over the place, but I'm just gonna give you like an overview because I want to show you guys that I did enter everything into my fitness pal and show you what my calories are for the day and my macros and such. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. Okay, so this is for the day. I have my coffee this morning that you guys saw. It had that tiny bit of butter in it, the coffee cashew milk, and I don't count my sweetener. And then I also had another coffee uh, later on in the day because I wasn't hungry still, but I still wanted some coffee to get myself through. And plus there were um, smaller coffees than I normally would have. And then I had my chicharrone cinnamon toast crunch cereal with the whole hemp seeds in there. And then I remember having bacon, so let's find that. There's the thin cut bacon that I had, two pieces of that. And then for dinner, my salad's right there with the lettuce, um, the tomatoes, avocado, mayo, ketchup, mustard, and then the dill pickles, the red onion, the beef, and then the um, bacon, of course. And then I have my matcha tea right here and that's going to do me for the day. I am at 1,463 calories and I kind of figured that would happen just because I over ate my calories uh, yesterday and so I wasn't really surprised that I was under eating a little bit today and uh, chances are I'll probably eat around 1,400 because that's basically what I've been doing is eating around 1,400, 1,500, not really even making it to 16 so 
overeating for one day isn't going to throw me totally off track and I feel a whole lot better today and more satisfied. So it's going to all be okay. So let's go to nutrition and I got 84 grams of protein. Some of those aren't going to count just because it was from the pork rinds and those aren't really a sufficient form of protein. So you know, but that was close enough. So 84 grams of protein, 26 grams of carbs, and what is 11 grams of net carbs, and 115 grams of fat. So this is going to do me for the day. This is my tea. This will last me quite some time. And yeah, so that's going to do for my full day of eating, you guys. I have a lot to do, and it is already 10 o'clock at night. So I'm trying to like get back on a regular sleep schedule. Yeah, at least I'm not staying up till like 6 or 9 o'clock in the morning anymore. So thumbs up for that. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.